Hi guys, it's Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com. In today's One Take Wonder video, we are going to revisit a fun old idea that I found. I have the old idea pictured on my blog at RemarkablyCreated.com. In the craft studio, I've been in the process of what I call the great or the big purge, going through 19 years of crafting supplies and just repurposing and donating and selling and just cleaning out kind of a big, big spring cleaning and it feels so good. But some of the ideas that I came across have been so much fun to recreate with new product today. And this is one of those really sweet products projects. And I thought it would be perfect to create this fun little envelope apron with the from, from the garden stamp set. So I have some of the pieces already pre-done, kind of a la cooking show style, and we will work on them together. What I used is our wonderful craft envelopes, and you simply just need to, you don't need to watch me do that, seal it up so we've got it all sealed up. And then I have our two and a half inch circle punch, and you're going to take it in about a third of the way, and you're going to go ahead and punch, and then you're going to do that on the other side as well. Take it in about a third of a way and punch, and then I just took scissors and straightened it out turn it upside down so I can see what I'm doing and straightened it out so that gave me the armholes that I'm working with for the neck hole here the little one I just simply used a one and a quarter inch punch and just took a tiny little nip out of the top of that so that's how I created the armholes again with the two and a half inch punch and then just kind of came in a third of the way and straightened them out with scissors so here on this one, what I did is I texturized it with the dots. This one it's a little hard to see, but it is texturized with flowers. You could texturize it with the larger dots, stripes, whatever you'd like to add to it. But um, I liked working with the craft because it kind of reminded me of heavy canvas aprons. For the pockets, what I did is I used the smallest square in our square framelits co collection. And then I used our corner rounder. You always want to make sure with the corner rounder that your two sides are lined right up in the grids. That way you get a nice rounded corner. And we'll do that. So I have both of my rounded corners. And one other thing real quick, using either our white gel pen or our white chalk marker, either one's up to you, I just simply put some faint little stitch marks around it. And let's just... So there's that one, and I did the same thing here, just little dots. Are there templates that you could use for this if you want to be exact? Absolutely. But I'm kind of a freehand girl, just kind of go for it quick and easy. And we're going to take two dimensionals, and I put the dimensionals down towards the bottom, that way I could put things into the top of the pocket. So let's just go ahead and and the pockets are slightly towards the center and of course you could arrange the pockets based on your own artistic desire so there's those two pockets for the top pocket I used our ticket punch because it already has the little notched corners and let's just fold that in half take our snips and there's our top pocket and for this one we just simply laid it flat because we're not going to tuck anything into it okay that adhesive is all gone if any of you are watching from Pennsylvania and understand Pennsylvania Dutch I would simply say that it's just all we dropped the word gone a little habit that I picked up here so and then again we'll just add our little stitch marks Okay, just like that. So then within the stamp set are little signs for the garden, little garden stakes. And we also have coordinating framelits that go with this. On this one, I stamped sweet as can be from the stamp set and best buds. And what we're going to do is just snip these off because we want to be able to tuck them into the pocket like that. And then this is one of the flowers from the stamp set. So let's just go ahead and press it to a glue dot and we'll put it right here and then this is just some of our smaller punches little pink flowers on this one so just add some little little flowers just like that now these would these will be adhered down but real simple now you have one last choice to make 
you can choose to go ahead and cut through the top of this. Oops. And insert your goodies straight down through the top. Or you can leave it sealed and insert your goodies from the side. And some suggestions for filling this, it would be really fun to use these at a garden themed tea party and to put the napkin and to put the silverware down inside of this, let them house that. It's great for favors, put a couple of little seed packets in it. Of course, chocolate is always an amazing um, favor and so you can always slip that down inside as well. You could put your menu down inside. But I could see a really sweet little, again, garden themed shower, garden themed baby shower, a women's luncheon and tea, or just simply for um, team or customer appreciation, just putting something fun down inside of them. So have fun using our craft envelopes to create cute little apron favors um, and apron thank you notes for customers. Because again, this is a regular envelope, so a card would actually fit down inside of that as well. And they could just pull out the message that you're sharing with them. Happy creating, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.